Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I'll give you a walkthrough of one of the machine of Valhub and this machine is released in 21st October 2021 and the name of the machine is Empire Breakout. So in this video I'll try to get it cover how to get it compromised this machine. It's look like an easy and um, in, in coming in between of the easy and the medium level itself. So it's based on the clue itself you have to proceed further and you can get the root flag and initially you can get the user flag also. So let me go to the system now and get it compromised this machine. So before proceeding further in this video, so first of all, um, today I'm just solving the machine of World Hub and uh, this machine is name is Empire Breakout. Okay, and this is released in 21st October 2021 and you can get this uh, image file from here directly. Okay, and this is my technical blog uh, where you can get the write-ups, whatever whatever the walkthrough and things, I'll just publish it from my side, everything you can get it over here itself. Okay, and this is my technical channel, we can get the walkthrough in a video format. Uh, so these are the stuffs which I have uh, I'm, I'm uh, publishing it from my side okay now we'll go to the machine and to solve this machine okay so the first thing what we have to do you simply have to download that um, uh, from the world hub you have to download that images once you're done with that simply import it on your uh, VMware I have imported on a VMware if you're using a virtual box you can do that on virtual box also when you done once you're done with that it's automatically take the IP address you just get that IP address but still if it's not visible for you you simply have to run the net discover is the first thing which you have to run it just to figure out the IP address of that uh, machine first okay so you can see that we can able to identify the IP address okay so that is one of the thing which we have to do it first now we'll have to run the nmap and we'll just wait for the output so over here we can see the port 80 port 139 445 10,000 and 20,000 other port is enabled over here itself okay so that's one of the thing so what the next thing as it's port 80 is enabled we'll simply go to the browser we'll try to get it access that directly on our browser so 8.132 and we'll just get the output in such a way it's look like uh, apache is installed on a target machine okay so that's one of the thing which we can figure out by this way now what i'll do uh, i'll simply run the dub is also one of the thing just to figure out is there any sub directories available for it or not so let me clear the screen okay let me run that to the dub so i can see there is a manual one okay just copy this one and try to get it copy paste it directly on a browser on another tab and we can able to get this a screen okay but nothing we are seeing it as a thing by which we can approach it further for it okay so what else we can do it now this looks like a dead end for us okay but uh, what else we just have to figure out um, with the same IP address uh, is there any possibility we have to use different port by which we can able to get some different type of pages so I'll try to approach uh, with 20,000 which is which is the port which we have identified through the end map when I try to get it access it I can able to see I think uh, this is an older older session is visible to me let me log out it first okay perfect so this is the screen you are getting it on your screen first uh, just remove this one also we don't want it anything okay so this is the one which you're getting it initially okay so we don't have the credential with us so what exactly we have to do it so now on this page itself you simply have to open the source code and you just have to go down 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 and then you can see this okay so it's a clue over here okay and uh, as i worked on this type of formatting earlier also so i simply have to i'm aware about it this looks like a brain fuck okay this is an encryption format so what we have to do we'll simply have to go to the browser and try to get it access this link where we have to decrypt it oh sorry i just have to click on plus let me do this okay so over here we'll simply have to put the content i have the content with me click on bring fuck to text we get the output we'll simply have to copy the output over here okay 
and now I don't have the username that's also one of the problems so what I have to do for it I'll simply run nm4 linux hyphen a and that IP address and let me wait for it so this will work in couple of cases so that was the reason I'm running it from my side I'll just wait for the output and then we'll proceed further with that uh, I think this is a bit faster and we can able to figure out one of the user over here so you can see that user hyphen uh, slash cyber okay so let me try to get it access with the cyber so I'm going to the login page putting as a cyber over here I am copying this as a password and I put it over here and click on sign in I think this this allow me to go inside of it and over here I'll click on command shell okay so over here I'll simply have to type ID and then I can able to see it then I'll try for ls I can able to see the user dot txt and I can able to see that first okay this is the first thing this is the initial user flag I can say that you can able to see it on a screen now what's the next step for it so this is one of the thing but now what I'll do I'll just simply try to clear it and I'll just make a listener over here okay this is the one I'll do it and now I'll run the one liner script on my browser um, browser uh, with a shell over there itself just to get the reverse on my terminal so I'll simply run this on the basis of your uh, uh, IP address you have to modify it so make sure when you're trying to get it copy and paste it over here there is no option like that to get it paste so you simply have to type something get it backspace and try to paste it directly paste it with control V once you're done with that you simply have to click enter so you're getting some error okay so let me figure out what actually the issue is it I think uh, we have forget single colon yeah I forget this one I think this one I have to put it this also and this will work yeah this will work now okay so I will put it this single colon also over here in my notes okay so you can able to see the code over here and we'll get the shell now that's one other thing what else we can do it over here so couple of things you can able to figure out over here so the first thing which we have to do is just figure out like with this permission what are the files is uh, accessible for us so this is the command we have to fig run it from our side just to get that information about it okay and then by that way we'll run another command with get cap also so let me run with that also once we run with that we'll just get this output okay once we get this output uh, it's look like we can use the tar with the permission of the cyber also as we have just uh, get the shell of the cyber so i'll try to use that same thing let me run ls hyphen la we'll just get this output what we have to do now i'll simply go to the slash var slash backups uh sorry slash var slash backups and now i'll run this okay so if we try to access this one directly i can't access it let me show you that so when i try to get it access it's showing me permission denied as it's accessible only through the root and we don't have anything like that as a root over here so firstly i'll just run the one liner tty so that uh, i'll get the shell similar like uh, the browser one okay i'm inside of it now now i'll go to the browser once again back i'll simply cancel it there is nothing you are not losing a shell over here you can check that also yeah then you're coming back to the browser once again what you have to do you simply have to use the tar i'll try to make it that backup uh, make it that file using the tar in my uh, home directory i can say that so i'll be in a home directory right now i'll show you that okay so over here what you have to do you simply have to type the same command okay so over here you're using a tar and remotely this file you're trying to make it uh, to be make it a tar file of password.tar okay using this tar package once we'll run with that we'll get this error okay forget about this error we'll get the file 
Now what you have to do, you simply have to extract the password.tar file. So now what we have to do, we will simply have to type something back and that's it. So now we can see we have the var file. Let me try to get it inside of the var file. Let me see what else we have it. We have the backups. We'll just go inside of it and then what else we have it inside of it. Okay, I think LA. Okay, yeah. So old password and we can able to get the password. So this looks like a password and I'm not sure right now what is the password of it. Uh, where we can use it so i'll try with this as a root i'll paste the same password and i'll be a root so let me go inside of the root folder and then i'll try to check like is there any file yeah file is there let me copy this file and i'll paste it over here and we can able to see the content of the root flag also so i'll just give you a summary once again about what are the things we had to get it covered inside of this machine to get it compromised get the final root flag so we'll start with the unmap and we'll get the port couple of ports we are getting it over here port 80 is the first initial port which we have to use it and this looks like a, a linux machine so on the basis of that we'll proceed further with port 80 we just figure out like apache is present over there itself we'll just try with the dub couple of links we just get it try to get access to the manual and those things then once we open the um, on port 80 itself when we try to get it access to the source code we just get the uh, encrypted content which is in the format of brain fog we try to get it decrypted we'll get the password and we don't have the username with us so that was the reason nm4 linux is one of the package which we are using just to enumerate the username of that uh, machine and unfortunately we get that and uh, we'll try to get it login on port 20,000 with that uh, username and the password we just go inside of it and then over there there's an option of to get the shell uh, we just click on the shell we'll get the user flag over there itself just using a reverse shell <coughs> using a reverse shell directly over there itself by that way we'll just proceed further uh, single line and by that way we'll get the um, uh, reverse shell on our terminal itself we'll just proceed further with that we'll just figure out like there are packages with the same permission of the user which we having the rights we'll proceed further with that and uh, we'll try to using a tar and um, there is a file is present inside of the uh, inside of the var you can say that uh, in that section itself there is a file which is not accessible directly with our user so that was the reason we using a tar just to get it uh, make it a tar file using that same package uh, same path and make it that file instead of that uh, uh, file which we trying to get it created using that uh, tar once we get it created we'll try to get it extract and we can able to see the content of that file once we get it the content that we use it to switch over to the root user to be as a privileged one we'll use su and root and then put in that same password which we're getting it and we'll just get it a root privileges and by that way we can able to see the root uh, flag I can say that so that's all about this stuff which I just want to get it covered in this video thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on LinkedIn the LinkedIn profile link I'll provide in the description section of this video and if you want to provide the comment you can provide the comment in the comment section of this video so thank you so much once again take care bye bye